Hi friends, in this video we will see pointing vector related question asked in GATE ECE 2011 paper. The question is consider the following statements regarding the complex pointing vector P for the power radiated by a point source in an infinitely homogeneous and lossless medium. The real part of P denotes the real part of P. S denotes a spherical surface whose center is at point source. And the n denotes the unit surface normal on us. Which of the following is true? The right? real part of P remains constant at any radial distance from the source. Or real part of P increases with the increasing radial distance from the source. Then C. See, this is a error. So please change it. This S is meaning surface integral, not S into RS. Right? So it is surface integral. Fine. Okay, real part of P dot n cap ds remains constant at any radial distance from the source. Real part of P uh, dot n cap ds decrease with the increasing radial distance from the source. What they are telling P is a complex pointing vector. So, P is a complex pointing vector. Right? So, when we get complex pointing vector, when there is a phase difference between when there is a, when there is a phase difference between e and h what we get is then pointing vector become complex then pointing vector becomes complex okay so let us see so at the time pointing vector let us see as per the notation p becomes pointing vector we know e class h so when there is a phase difference between e and h pointing vector becomes complex okay what is the first thing pointing vector remains constant at any radial distance from the source pointing vector unit what is the unit of pointing vector it is volt per meter it is ampere per meter so it is watt per meter square so the unit of p is watt per meter square so watts per meter square means when distance increases what happens to p decreases so pointing vector remains constant at any radial distance from the source no it is wrong because when distance increases p decreases real part whatever be the part Pointing vector, real part of pointing vector increases with the increasing radial distance. No, it is decreasing, so it is also wrong. Next, closed integral, real part of p dot n does. Right? So, closed integral, yes, uh, real part of p vector dot n cap ds. Now, you see, you use the same annotation. What is the unit of this one? Watt per meter square. Right. This is area, meter square, unit vector has no area. So, power, same power. So, whatever be the distance, I get the same power. So, let us assume, suppose real part has a power of P. So, that the same power maintains because this uh, area cancelled, right? So, what we get is the power remains constant even though we move away from the uh, center point so under the condition when we add all the things that is closed integral so what is the thing real part of p dot n cap ds remains constant at any radial distance yes that is true it is not decreasing right as per because we got same answer so same p so it is wrong so option c is a right answer thank you